SVB with that break brought to us by Andy Billiard Cloth. And part of the nine. Don't look now. We also have uh, viewers all the way from the Dominican Republic. David Castillo from Republica Dominicana. And of course, shout out to the Neri family, Gabby, Ali, and Kay. Happy viewing from Australia. M uh, Monk Apple also tuning in with us. Ernest Kenneth from Phoenix, Arizona. Ruel Taglukop from Alberta, Canada. Shout out sa mga bilyaristang Pinoy sa Calgary. Ayan, mga bilyaristang uh, Canadian. Magandang uh, umaga po. Kung umaga man sa inyo dyan. Almost probably it will be, uh, I think almost the same time the morning over there in uh, Canada. Josh here is saying Roland Garcia is also an extremely strong one pocket player. Well, or uh, Kabuto. This, this yeah. I will tell you. Any Filipino who learns one pocket will be a very, very strong one pocket player. Well, I'd like to ask you why. Well, uh, when, when you're a Filipino and you get used to playing uh, rotation, which is uh, one of the, uh, the games that they play here, mm -hmm. uh, you are so good at, uh, at uh, looking at angles uh, for uh, shots uh, because of the congested uh, table. You have 15 balls, yeah, on 15 the table. balls at the table. So uh, you usually play for position uh, very, very precisely, and that's uh, what the one needs to... Uh, you know, to compete well in uh, in one pocket, uh, you get used to playing banks. You get used to playing kicks. Yeah, mostly banks and kicks. Right, and that's a strong uh, a strong part of a Filipino's game. Well, Robo Roberto Gomez has been uh, uh, winning a lot of one pocket tournaments over in the USA as lately? of now. Lately, yes. Oh, okay. Of course, uh, don't discount the great Amang Parika. Uh, Is he still active? Uh, no, he's playing uh, part-time now, I guess. Uh, just, uh, just a little while back, uh, he, uh, you know, he has uh, tried to enter uh, tournaments over there in the U.S. right now. Mm -hmm. But I think he is over here in the Philippines because he celebrated his birthday here. Of really? Mar Marboys, uh, sometime uh, last week or a couple of weeks ago. Wow. Jose Parica is in the Philippines. Uh, one of the legends of Philippine pool. I think he's uh, one of the first Filipinos to make a mark in uh, the right. U.S. In, in the international scene. Yeah. And even in the Philippines, he was one of those who really, uh, you know, uh, paved the way for uh, the Efren Reyes, uh, the Django Bustamantes. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope we can invite him here. Well, uh, let's see if the management decides to uh, invite uh, Amang to uh, play over here at Sharks. That would be a treat for all of you pool fans out there. I actually want to see uh, Earl Strickland against uh, Efren Reyes, against Django Bustamante, and of course against uh, Amang Parica, Jose Parica. Kevin Batalones Deza, shout out to my fellow Pinoy in the Philippines from Griggsville, Illinois. Happy viewing. Oh, it's been a while, Guido Juiced. Happy viewing to you. And I think uh, that was a foul from Shane. 
no rail contacted after a contact with uh, the object ball so it's now open table for Dennis he'll just take short side position here for the three and uh, well can just come off that rail to take the four to the side but Dennis being Dennis not content unless position is perfect he'll just roll forward take that five to the same pocket here simple bounce off the foot rail back center six to the side looking good perfect just stop shot here and uh, just draw maybe half a ball here take that uh, eight to the side roll forward or stun depending on his preference so he stunned that uh, to take his 33rd win And that break was brought to you by Andy Premier. So a dry break from Dennis, but no worries because Shane will not be able to play for a run out here. He has to play either a safety or a push out. A top shot on the one looks uh, promising here to play safe. So he was worried that he will make that one. Oh, this is option for Dennis. And I think if he can Outside. take right. the two ball to the side. Yes, I think it passes. If it does, well, this is looking good for Dennis. But he's a little bit off angle here because he'll be nipping at that uh, edge of the two. So he has to control the cue ball from going be behind that seven so uh, he might be playing this with a little bit of inside to ensure that uh, he holds position for that three coming off the end rail oh, will it make it will it make wow. it he made it yep and he used the 10 as a stopper as well I uh, for a while there I thought that he was even going to that end rail so four to the side as he has to be uh, mindful of that seven, not to, uh, you know, to put too much pin on it. Oh. Yeah, he probably got worried about that seven. Right, because that's where it's going. The natural uh, ball in the spin will take that cue ball towards that seven, coming off that rail. Four ball side. Oh well, Mr. Sami Navarro, we honestly have no idea. How about you, Sir Nick? Uh. Pareha po tayo ng tanong. At uh, <laughs> I, I don't think we are in the right position to answer that question. Oh, question is, is he in the right position here to attack to the 10? To attack the 10? Well, I would because uh, that cue ball after hitting the 10 will roll forward and that 3 will be going towards the side pocket. That 5 will be a nice blocker. So it's, it will be a two-way shot even if he misses. Yeah. Oh, okay, he tried it. And even if it did not uh, hide, or the cue ball did not hide behind that five, there's still no shot for Dennis. And that uh, six married to the three, and that eight the potential blocker. So uh, this is a tough uh, safety position to play for Dennis. Good. And that's why he played oh, it off, yeah. the rail, off the rail. It's a brilliant shot Nicely there. Nicely managed, yeah. Perfect speed. 
and there was uh, someone who was asking earlier where did uh, Dennis get the name Robocop well I think that uh, it so happened that uh, when uh, Dennis peaked he was playing like a robot uh, pocketing shot after shot after shot and that's why he got that uh, moniker and I think it was given by his former manager I'm not sure um but I'm uh, really not sure about that. But Dennis <laughs> was uh, already with Bugsy Promotions early uh-huh. on, right? Is that the new J Flowers uh, Q Dennis is using? Yes, okay. uh, Ray and uh, Francis Villar. Kakarating lang po ng kanyang gamit galing sa J Flowers. Kaya last night, kita natin gamit niyo yung Q Tech. Uh, which is like similar to what SVB is using. Ayon, and and hence that comment uh, earlier na para nagihiraman lang sila ng tao ni SVB. Yes. <laughs> Good. Okay, legal hit. But he left it. Left the three for the side. The question now is, uh, will uh, Dennis play this conservatively because he needs to go past that eight? So he played that aggressively. Or past that six, sorry. So I just draw backwards. Oh, he has enough angle to go forward. He'll come off the rail with inside here. Take the uh, seven to the opposite side pocket. It's on the wrong side of the of the seven here, so he can just play stop shot here. Take the eight to the corner. So he can draw all the way back, make that uh, cue ball bounce off that side rail. He's thinking about it because uh, another position play is also available here. Drawing back to where the cue ball is right now and play that nine off the end rail. And then he's once again making me guess wrong, partner. So he went forward on that shot. Binalik yeah. dun sa previous position yung pamato, and he'll just go off that end rail, and to bring his lead back to six. Oh, after that's thirty. Wilson from Lancaster, California. And Happy uh, viewing. I think it uh, Tony Padilla is watching with his wife, most probably Marsha Padilla. Ba. <laughs> Ito ba yan? Hindi, nandun sa kanyang comment. Okay, okay. And of course, Tatay Arsenio Adamos, the Arsenal, also tuning in, saying good evening to us. Vincent Hernandez from Dallas, Texas. Dom uh, Tom Decker saying hello. Go Shane Van Boning. And from the Windy City over in Chicago, Mervin Chan. Terry Teresa saying shout out to Orculio and his family from my sister-in-law, Yina. Terry is rooting for Shane right now. Laura Berg over from New Jersey rooting for SVB. Jason Dwyer, did I say your last name right? From Buffalo, New York. We also got Keith Shanner or Keith Shaner from Toboso, Ohio. Another great event by Sharks, says Keith. Christian, we're coming to you live from Quezon City, Quezon City, Philippines. 
And Mr. Menzi Mendoza, all the way from Wesley Chapel, Florida, saying, I don't know who to root for. I am Pinoy, but American citizen. May the better player win. All right. Laura Berg from New Jersey saying, go Shane Van Boning. Lots of guys tuning in. Lots of uh, viewers tuning in tonight. Also, uh, shout out to Paul Aguila Eagle. Ayan. <laughs> si Paul, ang ating uh, pinakaunang director dito. Ayan, at si, ano, si Mr. Excitement, nanonood from Maldives. Reynaldo Mendoza. <laughs> <laughs> from, from Maldives. Uh, Magandang gabi, Quezon Sir City. Reynaldo. <laughs> Roman Palankarin saying go SVB from Brooklyn, New York. And uh, SVB looking good right now to take uh, another rack of uh, Dennis. Shout out to Christian Ibale or Ibale, Jeff Salmorin. Shout out sa Global Gateway Crewing Services. Mabuhay kayo. <laughs> uh, we've got Jeremy, uh, Jeremy Tucker Mooser watching uh, in New Haven, Connecticut. Pizza capital of the world. Beijing, Whoa. Luis Valencia. Please don't get. Don't get us started <laughs> with uh, with food. <laughs> yeah, so I'm I'll craving for some pizza. I'll take you off that thought as we uh, look at the last three balls on the table from Shane. Nine to the side, ten to the bottom right corner. So he'll just uh, come off that rail, bring that uh, cue ball closer. About to get to 29. and go to my favorite pool hall in Tucson Pockets. I will be in Arizona. It's hot as desk over here in the Philippines right now. And that break is presented by Andy Premier. Nothing down for Dennis. And most likely a push out for Shane. Oh, hang on. Push out. Uh, he made a ball. Yeah, he made a ball. He made the nine. Okay, he made and the nine uh, ball. Since this is a push out or safety... He's still okay here. He's just got to plan his push-out call here since he cannot play a safety anymore. A push-out to where? That's the question. Yep. Where could he possibly push? That uh, spot, uh, the, the four is in right now, is a good uh, you know, starting point to push out because he'll come off that rail do a kick and stick that five or the two are potential blockers I think chain will give this one back also joining us is Rana Nasserdine or Nasserdine again supporting SVB from a Lebanese living in UAE
Mas vou apagar. Well, Jason, Jason Dwyer uh, says, "Oh, don't get us started with wings. that, Jason. Having pizza and chicken wings right now. <laughs> I wish we have some pizza and chicken wings uh, while watching uh, this great match." <laughs> Mark Anthony, have Shane try some balut after he <laughs> plays tonight. Well, you wish. <laughs> I don't know if uh, Shane is that adventurous. I know that he likes fish. Yeah, but, but uh, I'm not sure with uh, with duck eggs. Duck eggs uh, about to be hatched. Yeah. <laughs> uh, those uh, are not for the faint-hearted. <laughs> well, I, I like balut. Me I too. I actually like balut. Uh, I eat at least three. Well, uh, if in I one sitting. <laughs> if I can share a story back when uh, I didn't uh, have any control over my diet yet. Uh, me and a friend uh, were outside the billiard hall and uh, uh, one vendor uh, came with a uh, basket, full, with of a balut basket full of balut and left with none. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> you, you bought the entire basket? That's right. For only you, two for of only us. Okay, for, uh, okay. Ol yeah. for you and your friend. So I think I had, uh, I had uh, more, than a, dozen, more a than a dozen. More than a dozen in one sitting. Oh my! <laughs> that was then. Now I won't even dare eat uh, three in one sitting. <laughs> it's I think it's high in cholesterol. I'm not sure. Very high. Yeah. Uh, and uh, if you have hypertension, you better not even think about it. Yeah, but of course you should eat in moderation. That's yeah. correct. So uh, back to the table. Not the dining table. The pool table. <laughs> the pool table, not the dining table. Well, is there a window between the 10 and 8? Uh, there is, but uh, it's very risky to, you know, try to thread that gap. So, uh, Shane double-checking. Binabati tayo ni Kon Pagdanganan. Ayan, si Mr. Norpil Cup. Right. Uh, <laughs> Con Bagdaganan, also known as Mr. Masimas. Yeah, Masimas Printing. Maraming salamat ulit sa mug and stickers. <laughs> Shout out kay Ryan Serrano. Hinarang na naman kami kanina. <laughs> Ayun, si Bato. Si Kung saan-saan pumupunta para lang makapangharang. Mr. No Invites. <laughs> Watch out. Babalikan kita. Jason saying, had balut one time when I was in the Navy and came to the Philippines. And how did you find it, Mr. Dwyer? I think it's the first and last. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. At may pasaring pasaya si Direk Erika. Saying I can't, kaya? he can't imagine me eating balut. What? It's one of my favorite food. Or snack. <laughs> From Baliwag Bulacan with his uh, loved one, George Benedict Benitez Rico. Happy viewing. So the three passes to this 6 7 window, no problem. Or if it does not, he will just kiss that three off that seven. Yeah. And that's how good these guys are. Three corner. No need to kiss that off anything, says uh, the Robocop. I can see it even with my eyes closed. And let's say hi to Mel Freeman from Seattle, Washington. Oh, go ahead, sir. Uh, it's okay. Uh, I said he's falling a little bit short, but uh, I think he's okay. Yeah, very manageable. Two rails. I think he's out on this rack. Just leave a nice angle on the seven to draw off that rail. I think he's landed a little bit too straight here. Well, I haven't been playing regularly, Doug Preston. Oh, sorry, sir. Go ahead. It's okay. <laughs> mm. 
Nicely drawn cue ball. Sets up well for the 8. Simple stun shot for the 10. This should be it. And that's Dennis's 35th. Break is brought to us by Andy Billiard Cloth. Okay, successful break. He has made some balls. Now it's time for the safety. Shout out to uh, On Point Promotion says Dominic Orejudos. Happy viewing from Seattle, Washington. So it's another open one ball for Dennis. One ball side. Simple follow shot and he's going to be good on the two. One ball to the side. I think he went short side there. Short side because, position, uh, yeah. It probably was on a collision course uh, on that too. So he had to uh, stun that a little bit with And follow. take it to the short side. Yes. So uh, he landed a little bit too straight here. Uh, I think he's trying to see whether he can uh, force Draw follow. Back or force follow. That's why he's looking at the angle. If he does a force follow here, uh, he will land uh, on the four to the bottom left with uh, going three rails forward. Oh, just like that, getting closer to the four. So he didn't go... Uh, he just used follow there, AJ. Yeah. He didn't put any more spin on it. Acceptable position for the four. Thank you very much for your kind words, Doug Fryer. And again, he's rooting for Shane Van Boning, but enjoying watching both players And he's about to get another one here. Dennis Orculio, three balls remaining. And bringing that lead back to where it was when we first started. Back to us. Do we... Uh, how do you, how do you pronounce his last name again? Kochrowski. Kochrowski, Jewy Kochrowski, saying thank you for the stream, and of course you guys are welcome. Right. Um, again, sir. Did we pronounce his name right? Yeah, <laughs> that's the question. And Ryan Serrano saying shout out to Dead Stroke Norpel Cup. Um, napap napagbigyan ko kanina mga tropa sa practice run. <laughs> Sabi ni Bato. <laughs> Ryan Magsalang, ah, Maglasang pala. Ryan Maglasang, shout out. Also to Michael John Osias from Zamboanga. So we got viewers from all over the Philippines and all over the world. Patrick Potit saying it takes the break out of it. So the best break isn't the winner. And yes, that's, that's exactly the right. Point of uh, using that uh, safe or push out after the safety uh, to uh, you know enhance or to uh, highlight that uh, part of the game which is uh, the strategy in playing a push out or safety after a break not just uh, purely break and runs well we're pretty close says Joey so how do you pronounce your last name Kozrowski what did we say a while ago it's a uh, coach Rowski <laughs> could be coach <Kozrowski>. Rowski <laughs> well anyway thank you for tuning in Joey excellent 
excellent bank shot on that one from Dennis. It's two to the three will open up the table once again for Dennis. But did it just open up for Shane? Oh, so it's Kozrowski. Am I right? <laughs> Kozrowski. Okay. So between the seven and four, the two will pass. Okay. So I think he can take the four ball to the side. I think the four passes the seven. Could be. Or he can draw and back can and take it to the corner. Just draw back to the center of the table. And take the four to the corner. From the Philippines, we've got Joel Sana Cabales. Shout out. Magandang gabi po sa inyo. At ang tanong ni Mark Flores kung si Dennis Orculio po ba ang number one player ng Pilipinas. Ang sagot ko po dyan, depende kung sino tatanongin mo. Yon. <laughs> Arguably... Uh, one the of best, the yeah. better players in the Philippines coming out of the Philippines but uh, of course uh, a lot of people will have their opinions on uh, why one is number one and why <laughs> Ryan Bustamante saying you all know how to say my last name already <laughs> so shout out to you Ryan Bustamante <laughs> any relations to Django <laughs> well Same surname, perhaps. Watch out, eight. Okay, so very friendly nudge there. Well, just uh, draw back a little bit uh, to have a good angle on the eight. Mm. Well, you can uh, just play a stop shot here that. Uh, 10 is uh, very near the pocket for Shane's pocketing skills. We can go off that rail too. So letting that stroke out is Shane who will be getting one back. I believe we still got uh, another Bustamante watching. Well, anyway, another 10 or a safety on the lowest numbered ball. That break is presented by Andy Billard Cloth. So that's the only difference. So one of the difference of uh, from from the conventional ten ball game. So players are given five jump shots each per day, and of course the mandatory push out or safety on the lowest numbered ball. So in case, in case if, uh, if a player scratches the cue ball, the incoming player has the freedom to run out. That's the only time that the, the player has, uh, has the freedom to run out. So we only apply this special rule for our professional one-on-one, uh, -on -one, professional one-on-one -on -one matches. So expect that the following uh, games will be uh, will be in this format. So again, on the 29th, it's SVB versus Carlo Biado, but that's but that's 28 in the U.S. Right? 28. Well, it depends what time we will be starting. Yeah, if it's going to be uh, <laughs> in the morning here in the Philippines or yeah. if it's still in the evening. But I think since uh, we are uh, doing the games uh, at night time here in the Philippines, it will be on the same day but uh, you know, in the morning over there in the, in the USFA. Dennis will be pulling one back here. Another quick rack. Dennis about to get his 37th. So he could probably just bounce off the long rail and take the 8 to the corner. Got it. That you got that right. 
can go forward here off that end rail. Good speed. Well, Dennis will not miss this one. Robocop strikes again. This break is presented by Andy Premier. How does he get safe from here? So just thin that one. Okay, passing between the four three. Placing the cue ball up yeah, table. Again, uh, overrunning safety there. Yeah, he wanted to get behind those balls. 8, 10, and 7. And so uh, as a counter is, uh, safety. He's commenting that uh, probably it's that uh, extension that uh, Shane uses with this playing cue. Mm -hmm. That makes him overrun safety. But I would like to think that uh, Shane has been so used to playing that that... Uh, the only factor that I can see here is uh, the cloth that they are playing on and of course the the climate conditions inside the arena that Shane might not have been uh, accustomed to or acclimatized to as of yet. And I think playing with a six inch extension is really fine especially if you're tall that's right and uh, you know Shane has been playing with that extension for you know for, for an eternity now and I don't think that uh, that has been a factor yeah definitely not gonna be a him factor overrunning yep. uh, his safety place I would like to think that uh, it's not in the weight of the cue, it's in how you stroke that cue that matters. Yeah, as long as it's speed. straight, right? right? Regardless whether if uh, you have an extension on or not, if it works well for you, then stick with it. Because personally, I've been playing with, uh, with a three inch extension on my, on my cue and whenever I take it off, it feels kind of weird now playing without it. Right. So, uh, yeah. I also uh, tried to play with an extension and I found out that uh, the extension stabilizes your cue. Yeah, so the extra weight at, at the back yes, makes so it more uh, stable. It makes the cue more stable once you stroke it. But uh, of course, that added weight is also something to consider. So it's, uh, it's again, it's a matter of preference, preference and something that you get used to. It comes down to preference. Some guys would like to play with a 22-ounce skew. I play with an 18.1-ounce uh, skew. That's, pr that's pretty light. And I also have one cue that I play uh, that uh, I, find I found the right balance with the... Uh, a total weight of 17.7. 17.7, a right. much more uh, a much lighter, more lighter cue. cue. Right. <laughs> I think it's not about the weight; it's about the balance and where you hold that cue. That makes uh, you know the weight uh, almost uh, immaterial. Mm -hmm. I say almost because for some, it is uh, something that uh, plays a factor in their game. Nice drop shot on that six. Now, where would Robocop want to play the eight? Maybe short side position to the corner. Yeah, you're right about that. Well, I think it also laid out nicely for him to take for the, to side. the side. And he's going to be nudging the ten. Same pocket. Oh, other corner pocket. It's playable in both pockets, the 10. Well, that's Dennis's biggest lead.
SVB for the break. This break is brought to us by Andy Premier. Nothing down. A dry break from Shane. He could probably use those balls at the middle, sending the cue ball maybe behind the nine or two. Right, uh, that uh, one will go uh, towards uh, that uh, left corner pocket. And the uh, cue ball behind the two. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the idea. Oh, yes. Uh, maybe uh, he lacked uh, spin on that cue ball. Mm -hmm. Running spin. So Shane doing uh, some uh, geometry oh, here. And looking for the contact point by mirroring the distance between where he wants to hit that uh, one off that rail. What do you call that method again? It's the uh, mirroring the mirror method mm, of mirror method? Uh, playing kick shots. Uh, just like uh, in a mirror, right? Uh, your reflection uh, will equal mm -hmm. the distance you are from that plane where you are watching yourself from. Yeah. So that's the same uh, with the, that method that Shane usually uses, especially if uh, the object ball is close to a rail. Mm -hmm. But I use that even uh, when it is far from the rail, just to gauge, uh, you know, the uh, just to use it as a guide. Yeah. Where I want to hit the rail. One ball side. So they adjust on whether they want to hit it on which part of the the object ball. Yes. These methods are useful because you want to get the general, um, what do you call this? The general direction of direction where you want, yeah, to, where uh, you want to hit. Yes, uh, where you want to uh, make your cue ball go. And from there you adjust whether if you want to hit the, the hit object ball a bit yes. thicker or thinner. And on which side. Yeah. And unfortunately for Shane, he fouled on that shot, giving back uh, the table and ball in hand to uh, Dennis. And uh, this will be the key shot for this rack. At seven and eight, might uh, go with a combo there. General path or general idea? Wh that's uh, that was the one I'm thinking uh, earlier. That's, that's right. General idea. And even with the two two to three rail or multiple rail uh, kicks, uh, there's also uh, a method for uh, you know approximating where the cue ball will uh, track coming off uh, two rails or even three rails. Mm -hmm. And that's why uh, sometimes we uh, we get surprised when the player hits uh, multiple rails, but uh, really it's all about connecting those diamonds on the table. And that's one thing that I need to work on. And I need your help with that, Nick. Well, you need <laughs> to get on a table, my friend. We need to find time. That's right. Dennis landed perfectly on that uh, four ball. So you can just uh, roll forward a little bit here. Hold position for that five. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Interesting choice of position play from Dennis. So uh, after that shot from uh, Shane, then he's back on the table with a nice shot on the five. So he'll just have to hold that cue ball 
going uh, possibly two rails here take that six to the side collided into the into the 10 and uh, he's looking if that uh, seven will pass the nine if it does then he'll just uh, manufacture an angle he's looking at the options here let's probably push forward and go off uh, one rail you gotta be very careful here if he has less than a pocket doesn't need to do much just needs to roll the ball forward and uh, go back up table so from that shot by Dennis it appears that there's no pocket for that seven and he lets Shane come back to the table Shane will probably draw this to the left side rail and come back I'll take that eight to the opposite corner. Wow. Break is presented by Andy Premier. Well, it looks like a push out situation. That's right. And uh, to those of you um, out there uh, wondering what format this is, uh, all balls down on the break will count except for the nine. But after the break, you either play for a push or a safety, uh, or the ten rather. So the the 10 will be respotted if it uh, falls down on the break. And after the break, you have to play a push out or a safety. Looks like you still have an, a hangover on, on nine ball. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> we've been playing nine ball regularly. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and uh, like I was saying earlier, uh, this format will uh, is uh, you know a test or it wants to uh, you know to enhance or to highlight that cerebral part of pool playing which is a strategy yes and uh, playing a safe mm -hmm. and then uh, you know uh, playing cat and mouse until uh, one of them opens the table up uh, yeah that's exactly right 100 percent so uh like it or not, this is the format that we are playing here at Sharks when it's a professional one-on-one -on -one, uh, matchup. Some people like it, some people don't. Well, that's life. That's right. And you can't please everybody. <laughs> as uh, you know, as a pool player and uh, an avid uh, student of the game, I like it when uh, people play uh, safeties when people you know try to outthink the other but this doesn't mean it takes away the break factor because i believe that the break is equally as important uh, in this format in this format in the uh, break and run format because yes. here you break and uh, try to uh, play a safe after the break 
Yes, as much as possible, you want to be playing you, the safety or the push out. Yeah, the push you want out to when you don't have anything available. But uh, as yeah. good as these guys are, they want to break and play safety on the next shot rather than go for a push out outright. Um, Sammy Navarro, we are trying to uh, to accommodate both. Uh, both languages, yeah, uh, both, so, uh, as both I was audience. explaining earlier today, um, we are trying to use a bilingual approach mm -hmm. to commenting on the game to uh, accommodate both uh, the local and international viewers as well. Mm -hmm. Pwede naman tayo magtagalog, pwede naman yun, walang problema dun. <laughs> right. Actually, mas madali para sa aming dalawa. <laughs> Pero at, since... At uh, alam naman nating lahat that uh, English is the second language of yeah. us Filipinos, so... Yeah. Alam namin na mas uh, nakakaintindi ang Pilipino sa Ingles kaysa ang mm. Ingles nakakaintindi sa Pilipino. Yung mga umidun na yan, mga awit na yan, na yan, mga local terms natin, alam naman natin yan. Walang problema doon. It's just that, uh, hindi lang tayo yung nanonood. That's right. Mm -hmm. And uh, as always with shots, with equipment, it's all about preference really. That's right. So, uh, we hope that you guys are happy uh, watching the game. Oh, thank you, John Flores. Thank you very much. And uh, Dennis is doing a good job so far. <laughs> Trying to extend his lead to a, do a double digit advantage. He's about to take his 40th. Slowly getting in stroke now is Dennis. And down on the shot, even uh, before that, the uh, cue ball stopped moving. Well, that means that... Break. Oh, lost the cue ball right there. So you were uh, saying earlier, partner, and uh, tough luck for uh, SVB because yeah. three balls went down on that break. And yes. uh, unfortunately, there was a fourth ball, which is the white. So you were saying earlier that this is the only time that we have an exception to that uh, push or safe. Yes, no more push out or safety. So Once Dennis the can run out this yeah, back. Dennis can freely run out. And that's Dennis's beautiful J Flowers Q. Not uh, not sure about the model number or what, what it's called, um, but it's a J Flowers Q. Mm -hmm. And he loves it. Oh, para dun sa ano, para dun sa mga nagre-request, pagbigyan mo na AJ, uh, tagalogin natin itong rack na to. Ganun ba? <laughs> 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 Ayun, kinontra yung 4 at nalagay sa maayos ang 5. Uh, ito, uh, pwede na niyang uh, pasunurin o hilahin. At hinila na nga ni uh, Dennis yung 7 uh, yung pato no. sa dulo. Papasunurin para sa 8. Medyo natabing ng konti ang 9 pero walang problema. Nakis pero tatampalin lang niya ito. Pasusun rin. At ayan na. Walang kaumido-umido ang tira ni Dennis ngayon. Naba. At walang magsasabi ng awit dahil hindi nasasablay ang Robocop. Dito Nako. sa dalawang natitirang bola na to Naalala ko tuloy yung uh, World Cup of Pool. Yung nag-double sila ni Livan. Sabi niya, hindi uh, nasasablay yan. Naalala mo na lang yung... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yung inirapan siya ni uh, Banban no oh. na binigyan niya <laughs> ng mahirap na malayo na at isinigalpak ang Jis at uh, and he's now breaking and he's really playing well with his cue right now his J Flowers cue anyway that break is presented by Andy ah oh. billiard cloth and uh, don't look now but mm. tit for tat now it's Dennis turn to uh, scratch off that break because of that five there was a, a double hit on that uh, yeah. cue ball and uh, fortunate or not uh, Shane will be running out or will be trying to run this rack out you're right about that Tim Miller Earl is coming to town so it's Shane's freedom to run out that's right. The only exception we have to that uh, push or safety after the break is when you scratch off the break, then uh, the other player can run out the table.
chain will just draw this uh, towards that side pocket, stopping just short of it. Oh, he went for that uh, corner. Still a lot of confidence by Shane. Using that 8 as a stopper to 7, same pocket, 8 side. So Nine. for instance, uh, sorry to cut yes. you off yeah, there. Okay. For uh, in, on that instance on the six, imagine if he doesn't have that extension, he might have to use the bridge. That's right. Or go for his extension. Yeah, and see, so it's the same banana. Yeah, actually. And uh, Shane got a little bit straight on that nine, but I think he'll. Uh, He'll be out here. And with that, SVB scores. Breaking at the center of the table. Shane Van Boeing with that break brought to us by Andy Billiard Cloth. So he made the seven to the side. Now, time for the safety. I, I think he can stick the cue ball against the nine, send the one ball around. That's right. Could uh, be. He'd just like to uh, play a stun shot here, just a little bit off center of that uh, one to uh, put it behind that nine. Really closer to that nine. Just like that. It's perfect. And uh, no jump shot available that uh, cue ball is too close to that nine so we were talking a while ago about having a smart break so having or uh, making a making an object ball off the break and, and setting up a really nice way to lock your opponent that's right so uh the break still has something to do with it and just so happened that uh, you know uh, shane has been uh, Early on in this match, that will be a foul, I think. No and rail. See, look at that. And because Robocop, of that safety. Uh, <laughs> went ahead and said, uh, I, I didn't hit any rail. Yeah. And with that safety from Shane, he gets ball in hand and the freedom to run out. Um, Trapper Bradley, um, the first match with um, with Dennis, it was a uh, it was the regular ten ball, not this format. Yeah, it was the regular ten ball, and Shane won that match. They went hill hill actually, sixty two all, because they're fighting to get to to sixty three. That was last September, if, if I'm not mistaken. September last year. So right now, it's his first time to, uh, to play in this kind of format. I think the reason why uh, some of those guys are saying... Uh, Shane does not have a chance in this format is because it uh, takes away that uh, advantage that Shane has, that uh, ten ball break that he uh, well he studied. All I can say is so Shane well. is an all round player, very smart That's right, player. But, uh, you're uh, underselling Shane if yeah. you say that he has no chance in this format. That's here. right. I could actually believe that. Uh, Shane can uh, can bridge this gap, this ten rack gap. Yeah, and if you were uh, watching uh, from day one and also on uh, from the start of this uh, day two, well, uh, Shane got a few overruns there. Happens can happen to anyone actually. Yes. Dennis Orculio with that break brought to us by Andy Billiard Cloth. So now the one ball is 
right at the mouth of that side pocket. So it's going to be hard for him to play a safety on the one. So he might just make the one ball, call it as a, as a push out, and send the cue ball somewhere. Maybe as far as, uh, uh, as far as possible from the two. Maybe for a jump. That's uh, probably right. Or he can just push for a jump. And yeah. let Shane, you know, dare Shane to uh, do something about it. Yeah. But you shouldn't dare <laughs> um, uh, push out for a jump uh, if you're up against Shane. One yes. of the best jump shot artists, in my opinion. But I'd like to... Okay, so he's following your first uh, option, uh, partner. Make the one. Call and yeah, play it, a, play it as a push. Right. So Shane uh, returned that push out call. It's a straight shot on the two. Four is uh, only uh, reachable via a draw shot. Or he's going forward here. Or he might just try and cross the two. Let's see. Oh, I'm trying to make the two. Okay, right on. Great shot there. So. Uh, if the four passes that six, there's still that problem of going to the five from the four. He's looking at it. I'd like to play a safety here. Just roll that cue ball forward. And uh, put that uh, cue ball or that six and seven between the four and the... Just like cue that. Ball. Yeah. There's no added value in trying to go for the shot when uh, position play is not available. So Shane might be uh, using up uh, another one of his jump shots here. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. He didn't want that. So it's option for Dennis whether to take a jump shot or pass it back to Shane. And of course, Dennis, knowing that Shane is uh, one of the best jump shot artists, he's going to be taking this. That's right. He's not going to not gonna give this back. And uh, Dennis is also pretty good at uh, jumping shots too. One of the best too in the Philippines, yeah. And that tells you why he didn't pass up that shot. Yeah, there's no way that he's going <laughs> to give that back to Shane. <laughs> there's just no way. Yeah, and uh, for Bobby Hooker, well, uh, we've been playing this format ever since, uh, or not only uh, for this match that Shane has against Dennis. We've been playing this for uh, quite a few uh, professional matches already, even before Shane came to town. That's right, 100%. The first time we uh, we implemented this format, I think that was the match between Anton Raga and Jericho Banyares. Yeah. That was the first time. Okay, another 10 ball for Dan. You are saying that Shane, uh, that this does not uh, suit Shane's, Shane's game, game, then it means that uh, it implies that Shane's, Shane's uh, safety game is weak. Yeah. So like, like what we said earlier, uh, we believe that Shane is an all-around player. So, And uh, w uh, going into uh, Shane's uh, mindset, I think that if he hears this, he will just scoff at you and say, oh yeah, you think my g safety game is weak? <laughs> yeah, it could be. Let's not doubt Captain America. Let's not doubt Shane Van Boning. And uh, to just to remind our viewers, mm -hmm. uh, last night, uh, uh -huh. Dennis was leading early on. Yeah. And uh, Shane uh, fought tooth and nail to get back. Yeah, he the was match. able to catch up. Right. He, uh, so he, he was able to level with Dennis, but unfortunately, uh, Dennis was on fire last night. So he ended day one.
Um, Shane's favorite Filipino food. Well, we haven't asked that yet. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> well, maybe maybe later after the match. Andy Kentan saying SVB is great in any format. In any format, enough said. Enough said. Enough said. Yeah. Well said. Maybe it's just that Dennis might have a slight advantage when it comes to experience, because I think he's he's been playing this format. Um, well, ha he has he ever on, played on, in yeah. this format yet? Yeah, I'm thinking. Because the last match that he played was against uh, uh, Ronnie Elcano on an eight ball format. Eight ball format, right. and prior to that, did he uh, did he show up on a one on one? I don't think with so. Someone? I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, we we'll yeah, check I'm that out for you. Yeah, I'm trying to to think. But um, I this goes to mind uh, one of uh, the comments made by the great Efren Reyes, no? that a lot of people or good pool players can uh, you know break and run but the great ones do not only play break and run but they also think and this format allows for that uh, cerebral part of the game to be played and exploited by both players Oh yeah, I recall now. So it's um, not the first time for Dennis to play in this kind of format because when he went up against Chang Jung Lin, I think uh, it's this. Also joining us is John Ludlow from the States. Which part? Ronnie Summers watching in Ohio, U.S. of A. Cav Cav, shout out watching from Abu Dhabi. Hi there. And shout out to Yeye Gachalian from Christopher Gachalian. John Ludlow from Kansas. All right, happy viewing. Watching from San Diego, California. Let's go. Robocop says Jerome Esteban. Dusty Jacobs watching from Scotts Bluff, Nebraska. Oh, and looks like he's going to be jumping over the four. Well, it depends on Dennis's uh, option uh, whether to pass it back or not. Is he going to take this? No, okay, he's so he's going to give it back. Yeah, he gave it back to Shane. And uh, he already uh, used up three of these jump shots, so he will not, uh, you know, he will try to save some for later. Yeah, as much as possible, he wants to reserve his jump shots. Good. And we
we have some uh, viewers watching even as far as Ecuador in South America. Whoa. Uh, hang on. Let, let's check. It's Poppy Pool, I think. Poppy Pool Amateur Ama Ecuador. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Esteban Robles from Makati City. And from Boracay. Wow, Jomer Ramos. Sana all nasa dagat. <laughs> Jomer Ramos. Troy and J Pool player saying you have to mod like money wanting to play feeder gorst. I'm not sure what you wanna say there, NJ. Stephen Anthony Aldueso shout out watching while working in the office. Ayan, ingat ka lang at baka, baka mahuli ka dyan. <laughs> <laughs> Salvador Alexis Montilla Abad watching from Dominican Republic. Republica Dominicana. A lot of good pool players coming from South America too. But uh, there are a lot of... Uh, of variations to the game that I saw they play there, like uh, playing on a one ball tight uh, pull, uh, pocket. Have you seen that? Trying to make uh, a ball on uh, a one ball on a pocket that uh, will fit only one ball. Um, what's this? And that's what they play money games for. Uh, they have specific uh, spots on the table. Mm. Okay, so merong ano yan, may pustahan na ganun. May, may pustahan na okay. meron silang lalag, nilalagyan and then... Uh, 32, Shane of course hoping to catch up. That break is presented by Andy Premier. Look at that break. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Such a shame that we're playing this kind of format because, you know... With this kind of break, you can't do anything. Yeah, and those uh, those commenting that uh, it doesn't suit, uh, you know, Shane's game is, uh, well, you're right because Shane breaks and runs racks. Yeah. But uh, Dennis plays uh, break and run also. So yeah. Uh, I think they played Same the, style. that race to uh, 120 over there in the U.S. Mm -hmm. where they uh, got to Hill Hill mm -hmm. with uh, Dennis winning by just a hair, 120, 119. Whatever format they will be playing, both guys can win. Don't don't sell them self. Uh, don't sell them short. Well said, well said, Sir Nick. Scott Honeycutt, um, you are very welcome. What's the payout or what are they playing for? Uh, well, we've, uh, we've been answering that question since, since yesterday. yesterday yeah. um, in all honesty, we don't know. We usually post um, the, payout. the prize. Yeah, but for, uh, for this particular yep. event, uh, well, uh, Shane is here uh, upon invitation from the management. And uh, the prize money is not disclosed. So That's uh, right. There you have it. So let's just say it's enough for him to, uh, to, come, over and to come over and play. Exactly. And enjoy the Philippine pool scene as well. That's right. And Shane is still playing in the Philippine uh, nine ball open, right, AJ? That's right, yeah. Not sure about his... Um, standing. Yeah, standing there. But uh, we'll know very, very soon. Uh, the Philippine Open is running until the 28th of April. Um, Mr. Nestor Reyes, um, unfortunately, it's not the same format. Uh, the first time that they faced here at the Sharks Arena, they played the, the standard 10-ball rules. But was it uh, a winner break format or uh, an alternate break format? I think it's alternate break. Alternate yeah. break. 
So again, with an alternate brake format, uh, well, it uh, it will be favorable only to uh, the player who brakes well on a particular day, and also on the playing condition. I'd like to uh, stress that a lot. Uh, the playing condition determines whether you're braking well or not. Okay. Dennis losing the cue ball. So Shane with the freedom to run out. Looks like everything is out in the open. So back on the table, it looks like uh, a pretty open layout now for Shane to uh, take another rack off uh, Dennis. Just go forward a little bit here. Stop shot would be perfect. To have an angle from the 7 off the rail, take that 9 to the upper left. Well said, Troy. Whatever you do in this format, don't scratch on the break. One of the mortal sins when it comes to uh, this game. This f and this in this format. Yeah, and especially in this format. And Shane drops. So never count uh, Shane Van Boning out. Whatever that scoreline tells you at the moment. Well said, Sir Nick. Anyway, that break is presented by Andy Premier. Yeah, that's right. Never think that SVB is out of this match. He could still. Well, we might uh, we might see a, a ten pack anytime. We might that's just right. see that. Uh, yeah. Maybe uh, Dennis will get uh, the bad rolls later on. SVB will get the good ones. Yeah. It's part of the game. That's part of the game. And that's the beauty of pool. No two racks are the same. Lady Luck can be at your side at one point and all of a sudden and just... At yeah. Plays with you uh, next time out. <laughs> yeah. So... Uh, and that's why I really hate to play fortune teller whenever I'm watching or commenting on mm -hmm. pool. <laughs> Did he get there? Did he get there? What? Was he able to clear the line? line? Looks borderline at this point. Maybe he can uh, spin that uh, three ball in. And prep for the four ball to the side. Yeah, he can just draw this uh, cue ball in with the out outside spin. Oh, left it. But not a gimme. This is not a gimme. Not by any means. Well, uh, Shane can go into the rail here, come off with uh, a lot of left spin. 
but he'll be uh, running three rails here if he uh, decides to go that route. Hmm. Did Shane just play that with uh, trying to thin that uh, three ball in? Uh, that was a very tough, uh, tough cut. And then is uh, taking advantage. like a, a one-sided match but again guys never doubt SVB that break is presented by Andy Premier so a dry break from Dennis and uh, push, push. with the no shot on the one Shane will be playing a push out here So he gave Dennis a straight in shot on the one. What? One ball, So Dennis can uh, go for a bank here or play safe uh, behind that uh, nine or the four with the two ball going over behind that red three and he's thinking about it Attention. I think he just might uh, have licked out that two. Yeah, I think Shane can entirely see the two ball. I didn't want that uh, white to hit that uh, that nine ball. He wanted that to go behind it. Um, Scott, this is only streamed here on Facebook. So from Troy, when is the next um, Philippine Open major event? Um, this coming May. The yes, we have uh, the Quezon City Open yeah, QC uh, 10, 10 ball. ball happening. Uh, I think it will be uh, the first week of May. And uh, of course, the, mark, uh, the Masters, Masters Open. Cup. Yeah. Masters, Masters Cup. Cup. Yep. Yeah, 10 ball. 10 ball Open happening May 22nd to the 28th. Did he call the 10 there? Was he trying to attack the 10? Hmm. I didn't hear it called. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Overcuts the four. Would have landed nicely on that five. SVB can go for the bank here and hold position by uh, going into that uh, brown seven. Hmm. 
Hmm. Uh oh, watch out, cue ball. Very uh, close call. Yeah. I'm a little surprised uh, Shane didn't go for that uh, bank shot there. Well, maybe he wasn't feeling it. But he played a great safety nonetheless. And uh, Dennis is in jail. No uh, rails to go to. Very well said, Mr. Robert Ace Escaro. He's a big fan of SVB and Dennis, and he considers Shane to be one of the best to ever do it. And he's a Filipino. He roots for Orculio to win, but he uh, and he says here, but I guess a little respect won't hurt. Well said, Sir Robert Ace Escaro. I hope all uh, viewers will, uh, you know, uh, take a page from your book. And uh, just to remind everyone, this is called the gentleman's game for nothing. This isn't called the gentleman's game for nothing. From Troy or NJ Pool Player, two living legends battling instant classic. Thank you, Sharks. I truly appreciate the positive promotion of the game we need in our lives. Well said, Troy, NJ Pool Player. You know, coming from uh, a pool fan and not a commentator. Uh, whenever I watch uh, live streams like this and uh, free live streams at that, well, if I enjoy the game, I stay on. And if I don't, I can just uh, turn to something else. Bah. Dennis Maige. Are you Dennis Uragon? Hmm? I think Dennis Maige is Dennis Uragon on, uh, on YouTube. Sabihin mo lang, papalabasin ko mga pasaway dito. <laughs> <laughs> no need for that. Uh, I think everybody understands that uh, sometimes when uh, uh, people uh, take sides, uh, they get a uh, little emotional about the game as well. So, uh, all good out here in the commentator's booth. Well, to some, yes. Well, I'm a Filipino, <laughs> and I consider it a gentleman's game. Yeah, but there are some. Of course, there will always be some that uh, will consider this game as a livelihood. You can consider it as a livelihood and still treat it as a gentleman's game. Yeah. For the pros, yes. It's an easy yes, I guess, to call it a livelihood <laughs> because it's... <laughs> because a lot. But also, a lot of pros are also giving uh, the game the respect it deserves. Of course, yeah. So, uh, oh my! Because when you say it's not a gentleman's game because it's your livelihood, then uh, mm -hmm. I, I really don't get the logic behind that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I beg to disagree on that one. Well, all I need, uh, all I can say is, is that. Shane needs to find himself as quick as possible. Oh yes, because uh, the Robocop is uh, in full automatic mode right now. Taking every miss that Shane gives him and converts them into racks. Break is brought to us by Andy Premier.
Good. Nicely played there. Kissing that one off that six. Well, yeah, um, while I do agree that, uh, you know, Shane has been a uh, little bit lost for a while now, uh, with the with uh, watching pool and, uh, you know, uh, getting a lot of uh, information about uh, other players as well, sometimes uh, people can hit a slump at one point or another in their career and come mm -hmm. back uh, stronger uh, at one point in time. But like I said, when you're a professional, you do this for a living. This is what, uh, you know, this is, uh, this is your... So that means that's the close button <laughs> for those who uh, can't stand watching this. That's right, and uh, there's no need to you know to go go about uh, calling uh, people names. That's right. So just whether enjoy the stream, guys. Whether you're right or not, uh, don't do it on this stream. It's a free live stream, so just enjoy, yeah. guys. Enjoy, or uh, you know, uh, just hit that X button. Yeah. Jeff Ward tuning in. <laughs> and Jago Esparza, um, like we said uh, earlier, uh, the uh, the prize money for is not disclosed. Mm -hmm. As much as we want to share it with you guys, yes, unfortunately, we have no idea. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> uh, I'm, we are pretty sure that uh, for Shane to come over and play Dennis. That's right. So Dennis missing that shot on the two. Chance for Shane to uh, pull one back here. Sir Dennis Uragon. Sino bang tropa? Ang, uh, <laughs> Andito naman kami. Huwag kang mag-alala. <laughs> sa YT. Uh, sa YouTube. Yeah. I, I, uh, I, I, Elaine, uh, yeah. Elaine Shot Kiss was Facebook, here earlier. Yeah. Yeah. She has a Facebook account, Elaine and, I, and I haven't Trish. seen uh, Trish yet, though. Uh, yeah, I, I think she, she was here uh, a she while ago. She was here a while ago. And I bet she's watching right now. 
under the name Patricia Durbin. Uh, and to NJ Pool Player, no, we are not. We're just reminding uh, the viewers to, you know. Yeah, just it. a simple reminder, giving them a second chance before we. <laughs> I'm not even <laughs> affected <laughs> by those negative yeah. comments. But of course, you got to feel for players. Uh, they are, uh, you know, uh, doing their best. Yep. They're playing here so that you guys can enjoy the stream. The stream. So uh, I just Shane would enjoy fishing in this hot weather as well. Well, unless if he if he likes the hot weather. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right, that so, break is presented by Andy. Nice break by SVB. Now, where to play safe? I think he left a piece of that one. One ball, right corner. <coughs> and uh, Dennis. Could see enough of that one to pocket it as well. It's looking to see if the the two passes that six. Corner, two balls. We called it to the corner. Dennis had to play that with speed to get to that three. I think he can go uh, three rails here or just uh, go up and down that side rail. Watch out, cue ball. Wow, narrowly avoiding that scratch. Now he's uh, got a nice open layout. He'll just go back and forth those uh, upper corner pockets here. Same pocket for the seven. He'll go one rail. Take the nine to the bottom right. Two rails is not bad as well. Eleven racks to go to end day two for Dennis Robocop or Coolio. Hotel or a condo unit. Definitely the management uh, has taken care of it. And of course that break is presented by Andy Premier. So uh, Shane's got a nice safety opportunity here, thinning that one and going in between that three and eight. Oh. And AJ, there's a question over here for you from Paul Omer Miller. Oh, how I wish, Paul. How I wish. <laughs> and I bet that we won't sleep because I've got lots of questions for Shane. <laughs> and maybe we're going to stay out late and, uh, and shoot some pool. I want to learn from the guy, definitely. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Yes. <laughs> Christian Bawa saying, this is far from over. I remember Efren trailing 17 racks versus Strickland in the color of money, and Efren ended up winning the race. That's right. Anything can happen, guys. So don't lose hope. Of course, that applies to both uh, Dennis and Shane Van Boning fans. That's right. The uh, only difference there is uh, I think they were playing a winner's break format back then. 
Mm-hmm. So uh, anybody can uh, you know string a few racks together yep. to catch up. Yeah. In this format, uh, it's a little bit harder, but not impossible because there's a push or safety after the break. So uh, both players will get a chance at the table at this one time after the break. Well, do you have any news, uh, Sir Nick, about um, Elijah or Wonder Boy? I think uh, Troy is asking. Well, if, uh, uh, Elijah is uh, based uh, in the south, uh, being from uh, Rojas uh, City in uh, Capiz. Um, he hasn't been uh, to the wow. metro uh, for the past uh, few months, but uh, I think he played uh, when. Uh, there was a major tournament down south. Uh, I think he played in the Manny Pacquiao Cup. But, uh, well, Elijah is fine. And uh, if you are following him on uh, Facebook and uh, even YouTube, I think uh, he has been trimming some of his matches and uh, has put his winnings to good use. He owns uh, his own uh, pool hall over there in uh, Rojas City. Okay, so he has his own pool hall. That's right. Wow. And he's what? He is what? Uh, 18? Uh, or is he 20 plus? I'm not mistaken. He's around uh, 17. 17. Or wow. But, but still, still a, a teenager. minor. But he owns his own uh, he has his pool, own hall. pool hall. Wow. And uh, if you are following him over on Facebook, you will see that he's a well grounded young man well raised yes and I think he always has his mom with him whenever, whenever he, goes he goes somewhere out of town to uh, to shoot pool or to uh, join tournaments mm-hmm. and always has uh, his mom with him I think the last time I saw Wonder Boy I think uh, I think that was at the Juniors 10 ball open I think yeah uh, it was the last uh, time I held saw here him. at Sharks yeah. right A lot of uh, teenagers are making waves uh, these days uh, in the Philippines. Was he trying to uh, to nudge the six right there earlier? Well, he might have. Now he's have, uh, he's gonna have to work for a uh, position to play at least a safe on the six. Uh oh. Don't think he wanted to go into that uh, seven and the eight. Uh, I think he was trying to go uh, two rails to uh, break up that six nine. Is there any chance for him to make the six to the side? Well, I think he can see a bit of that six. I don't just don't know if it's uh, enough to uh, make that six go to the side. He might be able to come off the rail though. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Mm, that's no. what separates <laughs> these guys oh from my. mere mor- mortals like us. Just having, you know, the presence of mind to see that line. Great touch. Play, great touch. Great, great touch. safety. Shane left with three. Well, make that two. Almost made that six. Yeah. So two jump shots for Shane Van Boning and Dennis Orculio. And uh, he left a long shot, but a makeable shot for Dennis on the six. He can take that seven on the same pocket. Wow, what a kill shot right there. Beauty. Beautiful drag shot by uh, Dennis Orculio. Troy here is saying, I'm a fan of all great people slash players, no matter what walk of life. So may it be a wealthy guy or or not so wealthy guy. Break is brought to us by Andy Premier. Open look at the one ball. So let's see how he gets safe. Well, uh, 
those cluster of balls. Yeah, I was looking at this, those clump of balls right there. Yeah, Maybe he can take the cue ball right there. Right, uh, but he's going to have to play a very soft shot here with a lot of spin to get there. And Shane says, like this? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, so let's see how Dennis um, responds to this. Yeah, and... Uh, but the, the the problem here by Dennis is only the queuing but he can hit this easy Extension. just okay. missed it yep pretty close so silver lining on that uh, miss by uh, Dennis oh. is that uh, the 7 8 and 9 are still a uh, bunch together so you'll have to uh, use that four to break up that uh, cluster while uh, holding for the purple five so if you're Shane you'll want to be on the right side of uh, the four to go into that cluster while at the same time holding position for that five hmm so Shane might be playing a safety here while uh, going into that seven. Or he can take it to the side and nip that nine out yeah, of the way. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Slowly um, taking off those balls. Yeah. <laughs> Nudging, pushing. But uh, that uh, six to the seven is still a problem though. Yeah. He can play for the six to the side, but he can play for that seven to the upper right corner. Well, I think he wants to take the seven to the same corner, leaving himself with this angle. Yeah, he can uh, go into that nine to hold shape. Rolling it forward will uh, make that cue ball track towards that nine ball. Same pocket, perfect nudge, there you go. And uh, he lands as perfect as you can hope for in that situation. So here... Uh, he can go for the shot, he can play safe behind well the eight. Well, he will go for the shot, no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. Played short rail. Smart shot there from Shane. So now he has a choice. If he takes it to the bottom left, then he'll be uh, going out of position. So he'll have to go and hit this hard to uh, go off the side rail. So he went forward and uh, landed quite a bit too straight on that nine. So uh, I guess he'll just have to draw this back all the way all back the way, to take yeah. that 10 to the side pocket. Beautiful draw. Perfect speed. Nice stroke by Shane. Very controlled draw all the way back. As always, Shane Van Boni. What specific issue it is? Well, anyway, that break is presented by Andy Premier. Will he make the two? Made the two ball, but no open shot on the one. So, of course, this might be a push out. Okay, so if there are any audio problems, guys, we do apologize for that. So I hope it's okay now. So thank you very much um, for the feedback. Yeah, Setla Siul, Luis, Luis Al Altes, Altes, <laughs> okay, and Sean Sean Tuffner. Tuffner. Thank you. So I hope uh, you guys can hear us a lot better now. And Ro 
Robert Visnik. Oh, thank you, Robert. Sounding good now. Go back to uh, the table. Nice cut shot. Shane letting that stroke out right now. Not quite happy with the uh, that. How oh, he landed on the three. Yeah. Yes. Taking this to the side, two rails, getting to the four. Yes, to avoid that nine. Nicely done. Still uh, not out of the woods. Take the four to the bottom right, avoiding that five. So Shane will just uh, draw this back. Uh, just got a nice angle to just push forward, come off that trail, leaving enough angle for that uh, black eight to go all the way back down table or up table. Shout out to you, Gerson Alberto Jara Bedoya, a man from Peru living in New York. I remember that song by Sting, The Englishman in New York. So uh, we also have a Peruvian in New York. Shane has uh, a little bit more of an angle, but uh, this one is makeable for Captain America. Nice. Break is brought to us by Andy Billiard Cloth. Okay, so is that two straight games for Shane? That's two straight games for Shane. Uh, well, let's see what this rack brings. Dry break uh, by Shane. Uh, Dennis can either play safety or play a push out shot. I'd like to go with a safety here. Uh, if he hits solid on that, uh, on that one ball, pick it. Uh, track between that five and eight there's a whole lot of clusters there to hide that uh, cue ball in and uh yung tukayo ni dennis may tinatanong yata sir aj uh wait lem let me check dennis or diales is dennis using his new j flower cues yes 100 percent yes it just arrived today i guess all right just and, arrived uh, today. looks pretty too yeah, you gotta love that handle, that lizard skin. Yep. When I saw it in person, I said, wow. Just wow. Very nice looking so cue. Shane is about to use up all but one of his jump shots after this. Oh, lost it. So one jump shot wasted. And what's worse, he scratched. But still... Uh, not an easy rack for Dennis. Need some work to be done here. Yep. Two ball staying close to the 10. So in the low magkakulay nagtabi. So look at where Dennis put that cue ball. And he's going for. Uh, the shot that will break up that cluster, that four ball cluster over on the side pocket. Uh, mm. Well, it didn't make any much of a difference. Right. Uh, still no uh, easy shot on that mm -hmm. uh, two. And kissing it off that uh, seven to the side is a tall order, even for a guy with Dennis's skills. 
Well, if the four ball isn't there, it might be a sure guess that he might go for a, for <laughs> a combination. Will, for sure. Yeah. Take on that combo. So, uh, only option left here is to play a safety. He already used up uh, his extension with that shot on the one. I think he wanted to hit the seven full. Uh, I think so because uh, the way he uh, positioned that cue ball, he wanted that uh, two to stop. Yeah, where the seven is. Right. Still no shot, shot for Shane. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Next up, pa tayo, sir. Uh, shout out kay Harry Ampong Amogis ng uh, Team Pugsit from Tagbilira City, Bohol. Ayun. May Team Pugsit at meron din tayong professional player named Pugtit. Pugtit si uh, Alexis Ferrer. Right. Well, this looks like Corner for the two, side for the three, and the four ten to the corner. So, um, oh yeah, that uh, four ten is wired to uh, the upper right. Touch of inside, and yep, he's going for it. Four ten, and uh, this ten is going in, and it goes in. Dennis now with fifth. Break is brought to us by Andy, Billiard Cloth, 51 games for Dennis Orculio, 36 for SVB. Well, ito si, ano, si Mike Malabanan, sabi niya, mukhang hiyang si Boss Dennis sa J Flowers Q. Partida, bagong dating lang at nilaro agad. Pero maalala mo, there was someone who was commenting na mukhang hindi pa hiyang si Dennis sa J Flowers Q niya. Kasi kanina, nauna ng tatlong dikit itong si, si uh, Shane. Shane yeah. Oh. So uh, that's how it is with uh, all of uh, the fans out here. No, uh, I'm I'm pretty sure that they uh, sometimes get too emotional and get carried away with their words. That's right. And it will just take maybe a few racks before he really gets a hang of the cue. And the uh, you know uh, going through the the past, uh, you know how many racks has it been? Uh, that will be uh, 21 for tennis. And uh, 13, so about uh, 30 plus racks. Uh, Dennis is just uh, playing uh, a wee bit better than Shane at the moment. Mm -hmm. But Shane, uh, in the last uh, two racks, I think was uh, playing pretty well. Dissecting one uh, particular rack, uh, very uh, surgical in uh, running out uh, one of those racks. Well, thank you for answering that question, Troy. And Troy also saying here, Dennis is free stroking, no real pressure being applied by SVB. Dennis can and is dominating the game. He is a master of the table, as is SVB. It happens, that's the plan. And I tend to agree with uh, the observation from uh, uh, NJ pool player that uh, Dennis is free stroking uh, and that's the reason why uh, he's uh, you know playing uh, a little bit uh, looser than Shane who is playing catch up at the moment beautiful touch well he left a piece of that four just a fraction yeah Let's see if Dennis can turn that into gold with this shot right here. Is he going to hit the 7 here? Okay. Avoided the 7. So, uh, he hit that uh, 9. And uh, Shane has a shot on the 8. Yeah, as a combination. Same pocket for the 4. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. The angle well, uh, of that 4-8 uh, was a little bit askew there. Mm -hmm. And uh, the way Shane played it, uh, you know, he went into the rail with that eight. Uh, quite, uh, or let's just say a little bit uh, stronger than the uh, pocket speed would allow. Good things happen when you're in the zone or when you're experiencing dead stroke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, being in stroke is uh, good enough for me. But, uh, you know, a uh, dead stroke is pool nirvana. Do you remember the time um, in the Moscone Cup when... Um, oh, hang on, hang on. I'm trying to collect my thoughts here. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Skyler Wood uh, Skyler Woodward against uh, yeah. uh, Joshua Filler mm -hmm. for the for the championship Moscone Cup. Okay. Um, I oh, remember yeah. when for this man breaking right here. Break is brought to us by Andy Billiard Cloth. And that's the beautiful uh, Q Tech breach. The great oh, yeah. Q Tech breach. Michael Forgal saying Shane needs a serious gear here. Yep. He needs to get to gear number five. Get into overdrive. Mm hmm. Well, Dennis uh, wanted, did not want that uh, collision course with that three. It would have been a perfect safety. Shane has a chance to counter here. Uh huh. Did he call that shot? Uh, I guess he did, but he lost control of the cue ball. So or was he, he just playing safe? Oh, yeah. So uh, it means that the uh, option for Dennis and gave it right back. Tried Either the combination way, there. Had to shoot that. And uh, now it's an open table. Open table for Dennis. Now, Dennis only needs to play position for the two. If he lands nicely, then. Uh, this rack is uh, his for the taking. Shout out to Bai Julius Orculio. Sabi ni Jun Ella. Ayan, kapatid ni, uh, ni Dennis kapatid Orculio. Ni Dennis. Kamusta na kaya si Julius? Baka kasama si Boy Palag. <laughs> Shout out sa inyo dyan. Dennis saying hi or hello to Jared. Is he is he around? Dennis wanted to uh, be straighter on that uh, red three. Now he's gonna have to work that cue ball to get back into position for the four, the bottom left. Peter Fung saying go Robocop from Vancouver, Canada. Beautiful. Wow. What a shot by Dennis. Drawing that cue ball with inside of three rails. Now it's uh, recovered quite nicely for a shot at the four. He'll be drawing off this... Uh, side rail and going back take that five to the same pocket he went forward with the inside and uh, landed nicely on the five he'll go back and forth here well landed pretty short for the six but this shouldn't be a problem and he'll go with the inside and again, nice uh, touch there from Dennis. Stop ball would be a... Uh, wow, he miscued on that shot, I think. Did he? I, uh, Slightly I heard miscuing. The, you know, an unfamiliar sound. Well, could be the hardness of his tip. But he played that softly, so... Uh, oh, yeah, okay.
break is brought to us by Andy Billiard Cloth. 53 games for Robocop. Shane with 36. Thank you, Jonathan Afshar. Did I oh, say yeah. his name right? Yep. Afshar. And Jonathan. also Vok Raj Kobe watching from uh, Riyadh in Riyadh. Uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. KSA. Okay. Attention. And again, guys, thank you for tuning in. Uh, for our uh, viewers who just tuned in, welcome to uh, the second day for the SVB and Dennis matchup. This is a special 10 ball which uh, players are uh, are needed. They need to play a push out or a safety immediately after the break. So this is not your regular 10 ball. And of course, players are given only five jump shots per day. Yeah, and uh, Shane has used up all of his jump shots as of now. Dennis, on the other hand, still has with two. Two left. Well, he should be out from here. Well, uh, four to the five. He landed quite nicely there. Yeah, slight angle here. We'll just draw, draw back. Uh, even if he bumps that eight, you'll still be good for that six. Okay, so corner stun to take the six to the corner. Wow, thank you, NJ Pool Player. Troy here saying like and share hashtag sharks on your social media pages. Payment for a free stream. Exactly. <laughs> thank you, thank you, NJ. So guys, if you appreciate our stream, please drop a like and of course follow our page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's right. Straight draw. Two balls away. On his way to 37. down and the premiere beautiful break made the two as well as the three 
Looks like this is a nice um, opportunity for a safety. Cue ball behind the 10. Well, he could go that route. Uh, he could also go behind that uh, 9 or the 6. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think you're right. He's going that route. Oh, there you go. Um, Dennis Morin, Dennis Orculio <laughs> was able to, uh, to to close out the first day. It was twenty. Uh, it was thirty, 30 games to twenty three. That's right. So Dennis will uh, leave his jump shot allotments to one after this shot. Another jump shot worth taking. Oh my. And uh, look at where that Cuba landed with a shot on the four. He'll be running into that five, so he has to plan ahead where he wants that uh, cue ball and that f the five ball to track after contact. Mm -hmm. So out of uh, four jump shots that Dennis has used, so I think I think he uh, three three out yeah, of four three three he made good use of yeah and uh, nice control he drew towards the five to just nudge it uh, towards that uh, upper left corner he's still not out and uh, I think he's looking to. Uh, to see if that six nine is available, or is if the the six he will take to the other corner. Yeah, other corner for the six. Oh, and we've got Love Scarola showing some love. Ke onda, AJ and partner, y'all are doing great as always, my brothers. What kind of cues is Dennis playing and breaking with? And will this match be on YouTube? Well, unfortunately, it's not on YouTube live. So we're just streaming over at Facebook. And Dennis is using a J Flower skew that just arrived uh, within the day. Yes, that's his playing cue right there. You yes, can see on brand your screen new. right now. Fresh from the mail. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and if you're wondering what kind of, uh, of cue he's using, I think J Flowers has dropped a link. Let me double check. Or if uh, Jay Flowers is still online, maybe he can uh, resend the link. And, uh, Oh, has he left the one ball? I think there's a window between the six and five. Dante series at 3.99. So that's how much. Um, roughly about 20, 23,000 pesos. Whoa. And we also love you three times a day, Eric Mendoza, all the way from Barcelona, Spain. Malamang kumakain na ng paella to siya, Direk Eric. Don. Wow. Can you please bring home some Ibericos? <laughs> How do you say that, Ibericos? Uh, Iberian what? Uh, uh, Iberia is uh, Spain. Uh, kaya, kaya Iberico yun. Kasi Iberico. Ang, oh, ang, ang Spain uh, is uh, also known by the name of Iberia. Oh, I see. Oh. Iberico. Uh, so... So, uh, yun, nag, dun siguro nagmula yung pangalan na Iberico. Yun, okay. So, that's the chorizo, right? The, the sausage. Mm. Spanish longaniza. Spanish longaniza, yeah. <laughs> 
fresh from Madrid, Eric Mendoza, our lead director here at Sharks. Hablamos Espanol, direct Eric. Shout out to Bob Suanes from uh, Ephraim. His Spanish flag. <laughs> Ayan, natawa tuloy sa'yo si Sir Nick Eric. Ngayon ko lang din alaman yung Spanish fly na yan. <laughs> well, anyway, shot on the 6 for Dennis. So, moving the cue ball forward, taking the 7 to the other corner pocket. Of course, he wants to leave himself with an angle. Did he? Uh, well, the 8 ball is just there. So, it doesn't matter. Tagalog or inside spin counter spin yes and down goes the 10 ball Dennis Shane Van Boning with this break brought to us by Andy Premier another successful break now it's time for a safety Daniel Fuerte from Monte Carlo asking kung magkano ang uh, pusta dito. Well, we have no idea, sir, unfortunately. Okay, getting the 10 ball in between. So I think Robocop can respond with a one rail kick, sending the one ball down table. Uh-oh. And he has left an open shot. Love Scarola. Didn't Shane get a three-way winning sweep the last time he was at Sharks beating Dennis ba Banyares? And uh, who's the other guy again? Uh, it was uh, Bubwit. Yo Johan. Johan Chua. Yeah, that was Johan. Well, make that four because he actually joined the... The ten man ring the game. Ten man professional ring game and, <laughs> and he won that <laughs> he won right. that ten man ring game. So yeah, SVB uh, went back to the States unscathed. That's right. James oh, here. So go, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead, sir, go ahead. Okay, so James Peck here saying hello from Atlanta, Georgia. Really enjoying the stream format. Countdown to next break. Quick turnaround on the replay for previous rack. Great commentary. All of it is top notch. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts, James Peck. Thank you for showing your, your appreciation. Thank you for showing your love. Um, Marlon, we're just streaming over at Facebook. And Paul Omernick, thank you for answering that question. So SVB on his way to 38. Same pocket for the 7 and 9. Read 
38 games for SVB. Shane versus Dennis, race to 90. Break is brought to us by Andy Premier. Lost the cue ball right there. And uh, and you were funny, saying a while ago? Funny <laughs> that <Nick>. I <laughs> just explained <laughs> that, that the only exception to that uh, push out or safety after the break is when a player scratches on the break. Yeah, no need so for the safety or push out. So now Shane can just proceed and run out this rack. And it's safe to say he, he should be out from here. Yeah, he just overran, overran his position on that two. Uh, he's got a thin cut on the two, so it means that the cue ball will run. Only way to prevent that is uh, to play uh, inside. But playing it with inside, he has to hit two that two thinner right. than necessary. Stay yeah. Down. So uh, he'll play off the rail here, possibly go three rails around the table if he wants to take on this shot. I went, went for, for the, the bank. bank. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wow. Tough ah. luck for Shane. Yeah. Lost it there. So that started with that slight positional error on the two. Yes. Uh, if he landed perfectly on the two, it would have been run out, Shane Van Would have been a, yeah. But uh, instead, uh, he overrun position and lost the cue ball on that scratch, gave back the table and ball in hand to Dennis, who's got a pretty nice rack to run from here on. Fifty six games in the books. Shane with that break brought to us by Andy Premier. As always, another successful break from Shane. And of course, the safety. Bringing the cue ball behind the four, I guess. Uh huh. Well, it could be behind the three, but he left a piece. Don't worry, Dennis. I'll be asking Shane uh, what's his favorite Filipino food. <laughs> Don't worry. And, uh, you know, a lot of uh, people commenting about that uh, rule after the break and uh, I remember that the recent interview uh, that uh, FN did and uh, what he was always saying about uh, those who are not fans of uh, the safety game mm -hmm. he said everybody can run racks but not everybody can dissect a rack and uh, uh, plan or strategize on how to run through that rack well said. Winning it. Yeah, well said there. So for all of you out there, of course, we have our preferences on how we want uh, this game to be played. And, uh, well, it's uh, it's something that we'll have to, uh, you know, have to deal with. Uh, this is the format that they are playing. Shane agreed to it. And, um, well, enjoy the stream.
One ball bands, corner. Oh, it's nice to see one of our good friends here, Jared Dresch. If you have watched Sharks before, they play these rules all the time. No one giving up. Weigh it makes you play all aspects of the game. That's right. That's what I have been uh, telling them uh, earlier on. This includes that uh, cerebral aspect of the game. Yeah. Strategize on how to win a rack without just running balls up or running out each rack. And let's say hi to Salt City Billiards. Thank you for tuning in. As well as Samir El Ahmad. El Ahmad. El Ahmad. Samir El Ahmad for answering that question. And of course, uh, also to Ryan Barker. Thank you for uh, checking in. Beautiful. Uh-oh. Okay. He's good. He's okay. So simple stun. So he uh, shortened that angle uh, with that uh, harder hit on that uh, four ball, oh, that three ball, I, I believe. To, uh, and here, bang. here comes Hunter Griggs with a very uh, good point. You know, these conservative spectators don't want to see anything new if they both agreed to uh, to the game why is everyone complaining exactly that's a very good point hunter griggs of course both dennis and shane agreed to play in this format so they they aren't complaining <laughs> they aren't complaining and there was one time Shane joined uh, the chat and then I asked him if he had played this kind of format. He says no, but it's interesting. He finds it interesting because, number one, it's a challenge for Shane because I think he hasn't played uh, this kind of format yet. Not until yesterday. Van Boning drops the 10. 38. A uh, couple of random guys complain about it. Most find it interesting. Yes, that's right. Some may uh, not like the the format, but of course some do. Push. And they have to remember it's not only Shane or this format doesn't apply to Shane only. It also applies to Dennis. And it applies to all pros from here on out. That's right. Here at Sharks. Oh well, yeah, I take it uh, people will, uh, you know, um, take sides whenever uh, there's a matchup between uh, two great players. Well, for yeah. me, as uh, an, an avid uh, student of the game, I just enjoy watching, trying to learn from these guys. Win or lose, whoever wins, well, I appreciate them both for being the great players that they are. Well said. Nicely done. Two and three. So both uh, on for the opposite corner pockets. And he used that contact on that nine nicely. 
getting in good shape for the red three. He'll come across for that uh, four in the opposite corner. Bounce off the rail with draw. At uh, green six to the side. Pizza man, send over some. And Luis Valencia saying 59 all, please. Well, that's going to be for tomorrow, for the, for the third day, the final day. I think he meant 89 all, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, since this is erased in 90, not 60. Uh, 60 will be only uh, to end the second day of competition. Yeah. And Shane will be hitting 40. Final touch. 40 racks. Down. Here comes Shane going for the break. Break is brought to us by Andy Premier. And and based on uh, how uh, hard Shane broke, he isn't tired at all. Uh, Aldrich Dalmacio, no uh, definite dates yet, but uh, one th one thing's for sure, he's coming. That's he's right. coming to visit. And uh, Samir El Ahmad says, uh, all Shane can do is try to close the gap before the end of the day and come back tomorrow ready to battle. Also, loving the commentary and coverage. Great job, guys. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, much, Samir. Samir El Ahmad. Did I say that right? El Ahmad. El Ahmad. Another open table for Dennis, currently with 56 racks, and he's on his way to 57. Uh, Justin Peña, this is uh, a push out or safety after the break. So players need to play a, or a call a, a safety. Or a, call or a push, push out. out or a play a safety yeah, yeah. <laughs> immediately <laughs> after the break. That's right. Only exception is uh, when uh, one player scratches on his break, the opposing player will uh, or can then proceed to run out that rack. So I hope that's clear for every one of you. Uh oh, that's a clear miss. Uh oh. What have you done? Um, who's that guy? Ralph Greenleaf. <laughs> 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 you just jinxed Orculio. Ralph here saying Orculio on cruise control, and all of a sudden he missed that shot. <laughs> right. Uh, oh. A case of uh, spectator's curse. <laughs> and uh, for the moment, uh, we are only streaming on uh, Facebook. And I think that will uh, go on until uh, tomorrow, the last. Uh, Day of this event. Breaks brought to us by Andy Billiard Cloth. Makes the three and the eight. Shot on the one. Then again, he has to play either a push or, or a safety. A safety. Cue ball behind the nine. Well, uh, that uh, that five is. Uh, the problem here for mm -hmm. Dennis, you cannot hit that uh, one to full. So um, he's going for the push it, out. Uh, 
pushing out because for a Shane, jump. <laughs> Shane does not have any more jump shots oh, left. Okay, so that's why. All right. So, so I uh, think he can he's still go for Shane to uh, get it back to him, and uh, he has a shot on that one. Yeah. I think he can go rail first. Shane might be going for a swerve shot, going rail first here. So a massive shot now uh, being taken by Shane. Tomorrow Beautiful shot. shot, but <laughs> now he's uh, mm -hmm. he got stuck that's behind uh, the nine. You know that's uh, uh, one of the reasons why you have to be frugal in uh, you know uh, using up your jump shots. That's now right. Now he doesn't have anything left. This would have been an easy jump for Shane. So it goes to show that this format is all about tactics. But take a look now. He called that. He right. called that shot. Brilliant! Wow. So he has left himself with a distant shot on the four. Yeah, and uh, slightly thin cut on the four, but uh, position is automatic. He just needs to make this ball. Uh-oh. And I was about to say if he needs to worry about that nine in case uh, if he makes the four, but well, he, he doesn't it. need to worry about it now because Dennis is shooting. Yeah, and Dennis will be <laughs> will be the one who's uh, who's going to yeah, be worrying about the nine. Yeah, but Dennis has a a problem shooting at this four. To play position for that five, he needs to draw towards the side rail and put enough spin to make it uh, go back towards the other end of the table oh now he has to avoid that side pocket also which is uh so Dennis managed to avoid that side pocket but now he'll have to use up his uh, last jump shot allocation well yes pulled up his Fire. jump cue going for his final jump shot of the day so that nine uh, is uh, a wild card on this jump shot attempt. May aid or uh, be a problem for Dennis. <coughs> well, I find that a little bit surprising. Dennis missing uh, big on that five. What's also surprising is Edward Hoffman is snooker on YouTube. Oh my. Oh yeah. <laughs> so all of the the regulars over at YouTube are and now joining us on Facebook. And he didn't even bother Facebook. telling us. He didn't even bother telling us. Edward Hoffman is uh, one of our avid viewers way back. And apparently he is snooker on YouTube. <laughs> That's very naughty, Edward. Well, I'm, hap I'm happy to see you here. And don't look now, AJ. Uh, the past two racks were gift wrapped by Dennis for Shane to take back uh, two quick racks. Mm -hmm. Well, could this be a start? Well, it could be. And also, uh, well, it would be a, a sort of a, a discouraging turn of events Break. that break was brought to us by andy premier so uncharacteristic dry break for shane uh, Dennis can now either play a safe or a push out, but I'm uh, guessing that he will play safe right here, just thinking about where to put the one and the cue ball. So we can uh, stun that uh, cue ball to uh, put it behind the two or uh, go all the way back to that uh, black eight. And joining us is Jeffrey Tam. Hi there, Jeffrey, a world-renowned magician. Jeffrey Tam asking, is this a race to 60? Yes, for day two it is race to 60. But we're still going to go for the final day tomorrow. 
Of course, this is a race to 90 in total. But for today, it's whoever gets to 60. Dennis with 56. He needs four more. Shane Van Boning, on the other hand, has 42. Kung uh, gusto mo pang humabol, Jeffrey, mamaya after the game, uh, maganda, pumunta ka na kagad dito. <laughs> Punta ka na kagad dito kasi anytime baka matapos na. Alright. Edward Hoffman saying albino in the subway or maybe Kojak in the subway. <laughs> Rick Tomlinson, thank you for the stream, gentlemen. Thank you for your presence here. Thank you for tuning in, Rick Tomlinson. So, uh, I uh, am hesitant to open my mouth because uh, Dennis missed uh, two straight racks a while ago. But I'll uh, go out on a limb and say that Dennis will be on his 57th after this 10 ball drops down goes the 10 three games to go for robocop sabi ni uh, jeffrey tam dito sana sa sharks na gawin ang next celebrity tournament yes i hope so i really do hope so jeffrey anyway that break is brought to us by andy at nadaanan ko lang kanina no partner sa uh, while we were on the break, uh, Nolly Torres waving over Push. from Push. Ottawa in Canada. So thank you for tuning in. At si uh, Mon Villamin, shout out sa mga ka-sniper mo dyan sa Jeddah. In Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Also to Vincent Matthew Abrenica, thank you for tuning in. Aba, mukhang... Uh, Maagang uh, nakauwi si uh, Vincent Matthew Abrenica. Kakauwi mo lang. And guys, please also do follow uh, Jeffrey Tam's page, Jeffrey Tam Official. If you want to be entertained by magic, he's the guy. So uh, Dennis is uh, looking at uh, his line to that three after uh, making that two. That uh, that nine appears available on a carom, but uh, I didn't hear him call it. So maybe a safety. Using the nine, there you go. So uh, just to remind everyone, Shane has uh, already used up, or Shane, both Shane and Dennis have already used up all of their jump shot allocations so from here on in they'll have to go to the rails exclusively no more jump shots no more taking the ball to the air pure uh, pure uh, kicking right now so uh tennis gets a clear shot on the three I think he'll hold that cue ball for short trail, uh, short side position for the four. Nice friendly bump on that pink, f uh, on that uh, nine. He has a little bit of an angle on that four, so he'll have to uh, play a little bit of a stun follow here to avoid uh, going into that side pocket. Oh, he has a better angle than uh, how it appeared on the overhead cam. Yeah, most of the times it's really tricky to see. Ooh, 
this is option. Oh, okay. So once he again, didn't the five, Dennis, so. maybe uh, now feeling uh, the effect of a long drawn uh, race. I lost my line of thought there on that miss. Hmm. Oh, shout out to uh, Julius, Julius Orculio, also known as Roborat. <laughs> Roborat. Closest guy here to get to 60 is Dennis Okuyo with 57 racks under his name. Shane Van Boning with 43. Break is brought to us by Andy Premier. Aaron here saying, I can see I can see who's from YouTube. <laughs> Trying to piece together uh, who, whose name is who. Jared's Way Easy and Snooker. Yeah, Snooker is uh, Mr. Hoffman. Edward Hoffman. And I can see Monique Greer is also uh, tuning in over at Facebook Live. Hi there, Monique. Um, Aaron, what's your your YouTube your YouTube name? Robert Visnick also looking for our YouTube live but unfortunately guys um, for this match it's only on Facebook um, Robert A. Sescaro nagkaroon na po tayo ng uh, one pocket event um, two years ago it was Efren Reyes versus Django you guys can check it out and you can also check out that very nice kick shot Wow. One to one. Yeah. Called and made by uh, Robocop. So once again, it's uh, looking good to run out this rack. It's gotten a little bit straight on that three. So uh, maybe you can just. Uh, So that four appears to be passing that uh, seven. He'll be taking the six to the same pocket, I believe. Yes, sir. Same pocket indeed. As well as the seven. And that's right. Uh, just stunned to avoid the nine. Nice angle on the seven to go uh, back towards center table. Towards the eight. Uh, Mr. Noli Torres, um, well, it's the rules made by the management. And of course, both players agreed before they uh, even started uh, playing. And uh, if you're uh, you know, a fan of the strategy involved in playing pool, you got to love this format. That's right. And again, it's applied to both players, not only Shane. So both players equally grinding. That's right. And uh, well, if uh, you pocket an object while playing. But this break brought to us by Andy. Where can he send the cue ball from here? Well, uh, one option would be to thin that uh, that one. 
and send it send behind it, the tent. Uh, all the way back. Send the cue ball all the way back to where he's shooting from right now. And trying it behind the ten, but it pops out. Still not an easy uh, shot, even just to place play a safety for Shane. Mm -hmm. Because that cue ball is uh, too close to that rail to uh, present uh, options for cueing. Behind the four, uh oh, double kiss. Ah. Well, he was supposed to uh, be putting the cue ball behind the four. But unfortunately, right. it double kissed and it, uh, the cue ball tracked towards the corner. So, uh, well, you can say that uh, he got a bad roll there or then he's got a good roll. But it's unfortunate uh, that uh, he had to play it uh, that way because the only option left for him for that safety attempt was uh, to play with top. Yeah, because the because the cue ball was frozen. Yes, and the Dennis wanted to go into that uh, five and six and just narrowly uh, avoided the scratching to that side pocket. Yeah. <laughs> cue ball bounced off between the five and the actual side pocket. That's right. And uh, in, in Filipino, they say, kahit na sam ulitin mo sampung beses, hindi mo na ulit magagawa yun. Yeah. Dump your backer shot, says says Ralph. So I think he can break the six five from here. He has to go uh, with oh, a lot okay, of spin. So uh, he did break that six out, and uh, look, he got lucky. No jump shots left for Shane. So he's gonna kick on. The gonna have to go to the rail to. Uh, play the four so Dennis landing a little bit too straight on the five, so he might have to play the six. Well, he can just uh, play a stop shot here or take that six to the same pocket. So Dennis is in a good position to get out here. He needs to go behind the nine off that rail. And it's in a very nice position to uh, be on the hill for this particular day only. Second day will end once one player reaches 60. Wow. Okay. <laughs> a little bit of a... Uh, yeah. <laughs> That break was brought to you by Andy Premier. Shane will be uh, looking to play a safety here. that cue ball to stay behind that blue two one ball back corner thank you 
suspension. And uh, yes, this is alternating brake format. And uh, Dennis uh, okay. played an unusually uh, half-hearted shot of safety. Giving Shane a shot on that one. Now oh, he landed a little bit too straight on the two. I guess he will be uh, going forward two rails here, top left. Landing nicely on the four, he'll draw off that rail. He went forward once again. Nice cue ball control by Shane. So it'll stun off uh, the long rail here. Watch out. Will it clear that eight? No, it does not. And without any jump shots remaining, Shane will have to go to the rail once again. And I think we're just about ready to close out day two with that foul from Shane, open table, and only five balls remaining. Dennis will go uh, up and down that uh, long rail going behind that uh, 10. Lands a little bit straight here, but uh, I don't think this will be a problem for Dennis to go towards that nine. Okay, uh, so we'll go up that uh, end rail, come back one more rail, and we'll land uh, with a pretty good shot at ending day two Dennis Orculio seals the deal for day two one and two to be uh, to be exact so last uh, last night they ended with a scoreline of 30 to 23 right now for day two it's 60 games to 43 so that's it for today